Hello, viewers. Welcome back to the Iraqi Dinar. I hope you are all doing well. As always, I want to thank you for your continuous support. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned until the end for some exciting updates. Big things are happening with the Iraqi Dinar, and you won't want to miss any of it. Today, we'll discuss the latest exchange rate of the Iraqi Dinar, the potential revaluation, and the developments in Iraq that could impact the currency. So let's jump straight into today's updates. First off, let's talk about currency redenomination. You may have heard discussions about Iraq's plans to redenominate its currency, but what does that really entail? Is it merely a cosmetic change, or is it something much more significant? The answer is that it goes beyond just altering the appearance of the currency. When a country like Iraq redenominates its currency, it's not just about removing zeros from banknotes. It's about adjusting the nominal value e essentially changing the numbers we see on paper and how everyday transactions are conducted. Currently, the value of the Iraqi dinar is relatively low, sitting at approximately 0.076 US dollars. By removing zeros, the goal is to simplify transactions. For instance, if you have 1000 dinars in hand, after a denomination, that amount would become just one dinar, but the underlying value remains the same. Some people express concerns that this could lead to a currency collapse, a situation where the value of the currency decreases after zeros are removed. However, let's put that fear aside for a moment. The Iraqi government has plans focused on strengthening the currency rather than weakening it. Another hot topic recently has been Iraq's move to reform its foreign currency auction system. Prime Minister Mohammad Shalsudania and the Central Bank of Iraq have been diligently working on these changes, and the results are promising. In fact, 95% of foreign remittances are now being processed through an electronic platform, leaving only a small fraction of transactions outside this new system. This shift is particularly important given the historical criticism of the currency auction system for corruption and inefficiency. By moving these transactions online, Iraq is enhancing transparency and working to clean up its financial land escape. This is part of a broader strategy to modernize the economy, attract more foreign investment, and create long-term financial stability. These changes are crucial for Iraq especially after years of facing economic challenges. For all of you following the Dinar's journey, this is the news you've been waiting for. According to Guru Mars, October 1st could mark the end of the foreign currency auctions, which would be a significant milestone. This development might indicate that the long-awaited revaluation of the Iraqi Dinar is just around the corner. Guru Luigi Wan also believes that Iraq is currently in an incredibly favorable position. For investors, this is precisely what we've been anticipating. With numerous changes happening on the ground, nations and corporations are eager to get involved in Iraq's future growth. Looking ahead, what's next for Iraq? As the country continues its reforms. The focus is on restoring trust in the currency and stabilizing the economy. But how will these changes impact the everyday lives of Iraqis? For families striving to make ends meet, a more stable currency could simplify financial transactions, reduce stress, and make basic goods more affordable. For business owners, it could mean fewer headaches dealing with long strings of zeros. Of course, with any major change, there are inherent risks. People may worry about price adjustments or the impact on their savings. However, with proper communication from the government, these concerns can be adequately addressed. Countries like Turkey have successfully navigated similar transitions, and if Iraq manages this process well, it could emerge even stronger. The real challenge lies in combating corruption ensuring greater transparency, and maintaining public trust. As always, I'll keep you updated on any new developments. Stay tuned for more videos covering Iraq's financial landscape and the future of the Iraqi dinar. Thank you for watching. 
If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might be interested. I'd also love to hear your thoughts sir have you ever experienced significant economic changes in your country? Leave a comment below, and let's get the conversation started. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates on emerging economic trends around the world. Together, let's keep exploring how these changes affect us all. Stay blessed, and see you in the next video.